Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Slavik, good to see everybody. And welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now let's take a look uh, what is happening behind your back and any other information you need to know in regards of your circumstances. What is happening in your energy? High Priestess, High Priestess. King of Pentacles. Wow, someone's sinking here. King of Pentacles. What is this person? What is this in regards? This is some, some sort of information, okay? Some sort of information. Let's clarify High Priestess here. What is this about? What is this about in particular? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Seven of Swords. Secret hidden manipulation is going on behind your back. Secret manipulation going on behind your back. There is a masculine here, King of Pentacles, stable, financially, financially stable individual, money hungry. Looks like very aggressive, aggression towards you. Aggression. There's some sort of corruption was done here against you by this individual. This individual lie. Uh, this is, could be by the emperor, abuse of power of authority. This person could be in a position. This person does not want to lose this position. And there is, like I said, a lot of secret manipulation going on behind your back. Okay, this is something something from the past has been going on in the past. Something was done against you that was unprecedented, underhanded. Tell me about the seven of swords and the high priestess. What is this manipulation? What is the intent of this? It's another female here, Queen of Pentacles. Very angry and aggressive. This is, could be a couple. Judicially, something was done against you, okay? Judicially, something this female have done. There could be a couple, both of them. Okay, so this is what's happening. This individual are continue on. Uh, they're trying to avoid consequences, most likely legal consequences for what they have done. This couple. There is a lot of manipulation and lies by this um, Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, something was done against you potentially. Something was stolen from you that didn't belong to this individual. Could be anything. Something produced on a paper. There was a corruption. And this female over here right now is facing consequences, judicial consequences. What is the situation about this Queen of Pentacles? Extreme cutoff. Synchronicities. Drama queen. This drama queen wants to cut you off. She potentially could feel embarrassed because now the truth is coming out. Maybe you were speaking up about the truth, okay? Maybe the courts ghosted them, cut them off, okay? It's no longer working. This manipulation that used to work against you are no longer working. I think that the matter here is everybody know that this jealous, possessive, angry individual cause you a lot of suffering and problems out of jealousy and envy. It's a drama, queen. You understand? Drama. Liar. Liar. Why did this individual liar did this to you? Why did this individual lie? This is, could be from identity theft. This is, could be paperwork corruption. It could be straight up secret manipulation. What did this queen of pentacles, this drama queen, wanted? What was the intentions? Some sort of king of swords come up in here. They could be on a distance from you. Could be on a distance from you. King of swords involved in here. Another male. Aggressive, angry. She used this individual to, to cause restriction in your life. There is a death card and eight of swords. She manipulated and used the services of another man. This is, could be a cop. This is, could be uh, anyone connected to law enforcement. King of swords often represents uniforms. Uniform, manipulated. There was a corruption done against you judicially. Lies, secrecy, secrecy that is being exposed. Secrecy that is being exposed. However, I do feel King of Pentacles here does also represents an honorable man, honorable person. Could be another detective, could be somebody else who is actually have high standards and morals that looking and investigating the, whatever these two psychopaths did. And they have, through lies, restricted you. Most likely um, provided false evidence to the courts, to the police. 
But this lunatic over here, this Queen of Pentacles, would have not achieved what she did if not the help of this King of Swords. They were in it together. And now they're together, like I said, continue on lying, puffing, and huffing. Because consequences are about to take place. They cause you problems. Death, Eight of Swords. These two lunatics through lies. Okay, they cause you these problems. So now this drama queen cannot stop. You understand? These two lunatics cannot stop. They continue on harassing you. They continue on throwing things behind your back. But I can assure you nothing will work. Nothing will work here. Nothing. You're still main female here. You with your positions. You with a strong position. Official person. Okay, bad health. So this is, could be somebody, an official person. There's other people. So things are changing here, okay? Things are changing. The positions, the authority are changing. Uh, there's no more ability to, uh, like I said, commit fraud. The fraud, the corruption, the miscarriage of justice is on an open now. They can no longer, like I said, continue manipulating. This lunatic is so jealous and obsessed with your life that she would want it you in jail, right? She caused you problems unlawfully because there is a seven of swords and there is another masculine here acted with her together together she's a drama queen this is already uh, like i said shown let's take a look at this psychopath over here we'll take a look exactly what the psychopath did so there's definitely he was hidden manipulation with this person over here there is a boss of them there are a pair they were in together okay just so you know, lies, manipulation, corruption, fraud, identity theft, falsified evidence, abuse of power and authority, you name it. This lunatic was so jealous of you that she couldn't simply stop to cause you this harm. Tell me more about this pair over here, of these crooks. What are the relationship between these two? Five of Cups. They're losing. They're losing. Three of Pentacles. Cooperation. They cooperated together. Slandered. Slandered everybody. Eight of Cups here. They're disappointed. They're disappointed and everything falling apart in their life. That's what's happening here. She wanted one thing and gonna turn out completely opposite of what she wanted. There we go, there we go. This Queen of Pentacles over here comes up again. Wheel of Fortune. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. It's a back trail. Do you see? Do you see how things are turning against her now? After what she did? It was all her idea. It was nothing but jealousy, that's all it was. To seek revenge against you. Now she's in Ten of Swords. Now do you see how the Wheel of Fortune turning against them? And against her in particularly. For what she did. Because what was done against you, like I said before, is unprecedented. Unprecedented. <clears throat> My next question to ask... What what did you wanted it? What did you want it on the first place? What was the reason why you did this to my collectives? What was the reason of your corrupted deeds and slander and gossip and revenge? Chariot, Cave of Cups. Eight of Cups, some sort of, this is about offer, some sort of offer, Six of Cups, to be potentially united with somebody, to potentially have a family with somebody. Yeah, it was because of a man, because of the man who potentially was in her eyes the emperor. The emperor, it was about man. King of Cups wanted to have a family with this person. You were on a way. You were simply on a way. It was a revenge and it was jealousy. Did you have a relationship or feelings towards this King of Cups? Six of Wands. Queen of Wands. 
Yeah, she used another person here, fire sign. Or this is, could be you. You were simply moving too strong for her. So she wanted to cause you pause. She wanted to cause you pause. So we have no new beginning with this person, with this King of Cups. Interfered. Why? For what purpose? Manipulation. Manipulation, lies, sick person was heartbroken. Wanted to break your heart, wanted to seek revenge, wanted you to suffer, wanted you to be in pain, wanted you to be restricted. It's jealousy. It's jealousy on you. The moon card. Potentially slander was thrown about you by the moon card, maybe affecting your mental state. Simply she wanted revenge. Looks like there is, like I said, two, two people here that couldn't face the fact that there are nobody pretty much. So they needed to feel special and important. For her, money is important in life. There's children here, young children. She could have young children. Silence, no action. Could have been lie, love. Name car places. Telepathic dream connection. Offer proposal commitment. Wholeness. You done. Yeah, you done. The thirsty chaos. It's a revenge. It was revenge from the past. Gossip. This lunatic, like I said, hacking your stuff. Gossiping about your family. It's an inner circle. She pretty much spread rumors about you. Out of jealousy, out of anger, and out of revenge. That's all it was. It was to end your relationship, to end your success, to end your life. Based on gossip. Based on gossip. Okay? You all potentially were single. Uh, and like I said, gossip was thrown. Or she is, like I said, uh, gossiping about you at the moment it was it, it was just the jealousy that's all it was but this individual like i said went too far went too far and now is dealing with the karma consequences for the actions because this is what she brought against you there was another person queen of wands as well here she didn't do it herself there was a group of people there was a group of gossipers and most of like i said hacking uh, hacking your social media account she could have contacted you using fake names Pretending to be somebody else, especially if you, like I said, in a, in a public eye. She could have used somebody else's identity to contact you. And like I said, uh, hacking your social media account and just gossip, blah, 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 blah. Simply out of jealousy and envy. It's a sick person. You have to understand that this person is unfortunately very, very sick. And everything was done against you because, because of this man over here. Okay. She didn't do it herself. It's all because of uh, jealousy. All because of jealousy. Deep down, she's a very miserable person. Very miserable individual, okay? She's hanging on to her pentacles. Very sad. Very disappointed. Doesn't want to lose anything. She's like, she's not happy, okay? Not happy. Very envious. Very jealous. Very gossiping. It was a revenge. It was revenge against you. What karma waits upon this individual? What waits upon this individual that did this to you? What is happening in her life right now? Let's take a look. What is happening in her life right now? It was her never endless jealousy and gossip. Nine of Pentacles. Ending to her finances. She's losing her stability. She doesn't feel comfortable anymore. For her money was important, right? But uh, the death, it's, uh, it's ending. She potentially did this because of finances or she could have potentially gossiped and particularly about your finances. And the way karma works, if you gossip about somebody else's being poor for one way or the other, you're going to lose that. And that's exactly what is happening in her life right now. There is ending to her comfort zone. She profited at one point. She celebrated at one point. Felt good. But the thing is that sooner or later everything ends. And now this miserable being 
is losing. There is no comfort in her life. Financially, she's losing financially, number one. It doesn't go as planned. If she tried to open some business, like I said, it backfires. There's definitely going to be loss of finances, of comfort zone. Nine of Pentacles is about internal a pl a pleasure, peace, money. It's all gone. It's grief. It's sadness. But that's what you get for jealousy and envy and gossip. She's losing everything. So first of all, the first thing that she's losing is her stability. Financial stability. What else is happening in her life? She could be have tendency to being depressed, depression, sadness. She's a manipulator, artificial manipulator. That's who she is. She's fake. She's faking to be sick. She's faking to be a victim. Uh, you know, is that um, fake victimized mentality kind of state. Poor me. Th this is what happened to me. But yet she's the one that did all this, right? So first thing, like I said, finances are, are not doing very well in her life. This is not a surprise. And romantically wise, what about love and romance? Ten of cups. Two of cups as well. Family is not doing very well as well. Ending to marriage, ending to relationship. It's pretty much the karma hits on all aspects of her life. For all her gossip and everything that she did to you. Definitely ending to the family. There is death card here. So if she is married, if she has a boyfriend and she has a family, this is coming to an end. That family, that relationship coming to an end. If she interfered in, like I said, your relationship at one point and said you're nobody, you're broke ass, you're sick and so on and so on and so on. This is actually what, what is her karma. Exactly what the gossip was said about you. Exactly what was done to you will be done to her. She is not going to have family. I'm assuming she uh, was one of the mistress. And on top of that, restrictions. She, she has no idea what's coming. She has no idea what's coming. It's already started. Nothing she can do about it. She should have not lied. She should have not bullshit. Was her jealousy. She should have not interfered in your relationship. She should have not stole your things, your ideas, your work. But she did. And relevantly, because you do that, you're going to lose it. You're going to lose everything. This miserable person, Queen of Pentacles, nothing but misery and hate, is losing everything. Losing that stability. She can forget about family or marriage or love or any sort of stability because it's not. And on top of that, we have eight of sorts restrictions she's going to be heartbroken and this heartbreak will come the same way as she did it to you so she will be dumped and cut off what is this eight of uh, sorts about so definitely divorce if she's married divorce if she's single thinking of having family will be single forever loneliness hermit alone miserable nobody needs her nobody needs a liar nobody needs a gossiper went too far and now nothing can be changed about that yeah is she losing her status she's losing her status see we have king of pentacles here losing the status here relationship ending dissatisfaction ending 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 to money if this was also related to work to business it's it's ending it's stagnation four of sorts she wanted a big money there could have been some sort of his investment and on top of that we have justice card coming in here she's stressing out because there was like i said something was done against you that wasn't unlawful here Definitely. It could have been, like I said, perjury, falsified information, falsified evidence, any of that nature. And that is coming to an end for her. Okay? It's done. It's done. She knows that she's stressing out about it. So if she committed, like I said, um, if she violated the criminal code, and this was a matter, like I said, of perjury, it was a matter of fraud, 
it was a, ma um, a matter of uh, falsifying evidence, if it was the matter, like I said, uh, anything to do with the law that was fraudulent, this is coming to an end. So let's take a look. Karma for this jealous lunatic over here. Karma for this jealous lunatic over here. Judicially. Let's take a look. Okay, we have eyes here. We have, once again, synchronicities. We have love affair. There was some sort of love affair here. Maybe she screwed a cop or somebody to get what she wanted. Some sort of here secret love affair going on. Tune in, plugged in connection. Maybe she's sleeping around with somebody. Watching through internet. Could be some sort of love affair here as well. Between two people. She could have, like I said, sleep with somebody to, to cause you this problem. Because there's no other logical reason how could that be. Unless there's some sort of personal relationship with somebody on the side. That helped her achieve that. Pretending. Fake. She could pretend on the internet to be you. Stole your identity. Sexual chemistry. She may be potentially pretending and contacting somebody that you, in your name, that you want somebody, even though you're done with this person. I mean, you can expect anything from this psychopathic psycho. Honestly, anything. Nothing surprised me here. In a mental prison, she she potentially could be in a mental prison, or she pretended to be. Like I said, you stole your identity and pretended that supposedly you are the one sick. Okay, faked your mental illness as you, meaning stole your identity, go to the doctor, pretended to be you. So it's on your record. It's it's a sick individual. Like I said, it's a, it's a sick person, sick sick person. However, you under protection. You walked away from this situation and you are protected. You don't need to worry. But something was here documented on paper, potentially related to your mental state. She could have stole your identity and faked a mental illness. This person is not facing the truth. Yeah, she entrapped you on paper. But everybody knows. This is the thing. Everybody knows... Courts know, cops know, everybody know that this person is mentally sick person. That this person needs psychiatric help after what she did. There's no doubt about it. To what extent one must, must go to seek such revenge against innocent per person. Sicko. And matter of fact, she about to be interviewed. Okay, there is interview and it's going to come to light. So this entrapment that she tried to entrap you judicially is not working. You still divinely protect it. She could have screwed everybody, whoever she needed to screw. Paid people. She probably was screwing everybody here to get what she wanted. And like I said, what she ever wanted is to seek revenge against you because of a man. That's all she wanted. She wanted stability. She wanted to get you out of the way. What about this awareness coming to light? What is coming to light? Because courts are not buying it anymore. Detectives are not buying it anymore. It's done. Everybody knows she's sick. It's a sick person. Very sick person. Messages. Intercepted communication. Messages, paperwork, it's coming out. Everything that she talked to in private, it was obtained, retrieved, disclosed as a hard evidence. Every single thing that she did. Privileged, she saw it at one point privileged. Her messages potentially is being uh, intercepted. 
with the other crook she involved in this gossip. See, bribery here, all messages of bribery. I'll pay you if you do this and this. You, my collective, need to be stopped. We need to get rid of her. All of this fake identity, stalking, harassment, every single thing is being in intercepted. And it came to light. The conversation. Some sort of conversation that she had about bribe, trying to bribe somebody came to light. Or whatever this sicko wanted to do. It came to light. Message of concern. Somebody potentially have told her something. In relevance, like, okay, you're busted. Uh, there's an investigation against you. You lied. Yada, yada, yada. It's been intercepted. What communication with whom? Whom is she talking this to? What, what kind of communication was intercepted? Hermit. Some loner. Could be detective. Oh, yeah, there we go. This, this lunatic. The king of swords. The, the detective undercover. There's some other man she's working with. Okay, they were in it together. So this communication was intercepted. Intercepted with this cop of whatever, whoever she's screwing. I don't know. Whoever that is was intercepted. There's evidence. What was actually done against you is intercepted here. So the law enforcement already know. They already know what's going on. So if you have an issue with the law, like I said, or sinking in any of this nature, do not worry. Yes, there's definitely a crook here. There's no doubt about it, a crook. But know that law is knowing the truth. So while these crooks watching you, the higher authority watching them. Does that make sense? And the higher law and the higher authority, wherever that unit is, special unit, watching this lower rank unit, whatever they are, detectives, PIs, whatever. And they intercepted their communication. She was talking to men. Potentially one man or two men. I don't know. Comes up as a hermit. Detective. Detective, cop, whatever. The, the one that helped her initially to get um, what she wanted against you. So it's intercepted. It's coming to light. They definitely intercepted her communication. So she's on a radar. She's on a radar. And jail. See? Jail. She's going to jail for that. She's going to jail. There was, like I said, some sort of conversation that was intercepted that is serious violation of the law. And detectives are thinking about it, right? They have a picture. They know what happened. So after they intercepted it, they finally got the idea because they have a portrait here. They're like, okay, yeah. You know what this whole bad health saying that you're sick this identity okay this is all makes sense now we're gonna put the puzzle together so there's definitely a detective here that know what happened because they have been question of interest for a very long time and now they have the idea how your mental state your bad health whether financially or mentally whatever the case may be was nothing but a stage it was simply staged by this sick individual who wanted to seek revenge against you out of jealousy and out of envy. So there's without doubt, like I said, intercepted communication. Long-term relationship, coming together, settlement, involving others, trapped, frustrated, toxic people. Every single thing is exposed that this drama, that she's an alcoholic, she uh, nightlife. No doubt she could have screwed this man to get what she wanted. There is no doubt about it. A lot of secrecy about how they tune in and connect it, plugged in. And Bounty is already investigating what, what, what she did. They're investigating. They are aware of what was done because like i said they are intercepted the conversation between her and that other idiot together they were in it together 
right? So it's no longer a secret about their plan. Even though she acted simply out of, out of jealousy and revenge. That's all she wanted. Jealousy. This whole gossip that was thrown about you, do you think a part of it is true? Nothing is truth. All was lies. And on top of that, this sicko went an extra mile to steal your identity, pretended to be you. I mean, how many criminal charges does this lunatic going to face? Because she, they're all going to jail. They're all going to jail. Clarify imprisonment. By official person. There. Clarified it. Thieves, liars, abusers. Falsified evidence. This lunatic is official person. Abused his power of authority for some jealous bitch. Crooks. Crooks are going to jail. Crooks. So know that that information was intercepted and there is an evidence what these abusive crooks have done against you. That's my message. Now, <clears throat> from a wonderful collectives. This cycle you have faced, I feel sincerely sorry for you because it's a sick person. It's a truly sick person, but you know that everything is out. Everybody knows the truth now. Now let's take a look about your protection. I already mentioned before that you are under protection. You don't need to concern. You don't need to be worried. You are protected. Okay, so do not worry that this lunatic can do anything to you because nothing could be done to you. That's without doubt. Without doubt. Her time is over. This crooks times is over. Now let's take a look. What other messages I have for you? Travel. Okay. You will be traveling in the near future. If that's what you're thinking. Uh, interference third party. Mimicking. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Okay, so once again, these psychopaths are what? Planning and mimicking to be you? Shapeshifter? Right? Traveling, potentially going from place to place, trying to set you up. This is all out. This is all out. Yeah, see? They're traveling. You could be on a distance from them. And, the, and these lunatics maybe rented a vehicle that looks like yours and pretended to be you. So they actually traveling. So this is continues on. These games are continues on and on and on and on and on. Right? On and on and on. But it's done. It's done. Not showing true self. Fake. Fake. If this is, like I said, any people from your past that are trying to apologize to you, it's, it's, it's fake. They're being fake. They only do that because they know what's coming. So it's best to keep those people on a distance for you, right? Truth. You know the truth. Be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. This is what, I, what it means. These individuals are, like I said, have done too much. Too much and they will have to pay the price for what they did to you. With all this revenge, jealousy, trying to break you up, this love affairs, screwing around, paying people, this plan of this corruption because you feel you're overly privileged because you know somebody in authority. This is done. It's done. These fakes are done. So know that you are protected against these lunatics. Fake agenda. They're brainwashing lies and baloney bullshit. You stay true to yourself. The divine is leading you to stay on the right path. Everything that is happening is happening as we speak. You may not be, uh, uh, like I said, aware to the level of extent of a bullshit that these lunatics have done against you. But one thing you need to know that this is almost over. Do not accept any apologies. If somebody comes up to you from your past, like your ex over there or whoever, trying to apologize to you, say they're sorry, it's not truth. 
It will not be a truce. What happened to you was nothing but jealousy. Jealousy, money, greed, revenge. That's all it was. Advice for you. Advice for you. Coffin. Ending. You're just waiting. You're waiting for this to end. You're tired. You're tired of waiting. I understand your expectation. I understand that this is a very, very difficult path that you had to take. It's a difficult for you. But know that there will be charges laid. You will be secured. This individual that done this to you, they are very concerned right now. Okay? And this is over. And they are in despair. They will be booted from their jobs. In regards for you, there are going to be changes. Changes in your personal life and changes also in your finances. Increase of finances. There's definitely a person coming in for you for stability. For stability. In, in regards of this lunatic, they will be judged. They will be prosecuted. There is a new person coming in towards you. So know that this is almost over. And of course, fortune is on your side. Fortune is on your side. So changes are coming in towards you. I understand it's difficult. And the reason why it's difficult, because there was an abuse of power and a sort. And often it is difficult to deal with, especially with this psychopathic, jealous lunatic. Um, does not stop. But she's finished. Like I said, um, the FBI, CSIS, whoever else who is in a lot more higher authority already intercepted and investigating this individual and the group that she's connected to uh, for a very long time. So there is a strong evidence against this group of what they have done against you. Okay. And lastly, in closing, what else do we need to say? That she is stuck. You see, she's, she's restricted. Restricted aid of sorts. You need to know that she's going to go to jail. She cannot cause you any more further harm. So do not worry about her. Okay. It's done for her. She is being stopped. Hangman, it's stopped. The higher power can no longer let her have anything. It's, it's now about karma. It's about you get what you deserve. And you get according to your deeds. Exactly what you did. There's consequences. And of course, eight of swords. It's, it's pretty much restrictions. It's done. It's over for her. And this community. All right, my wonderful collectives. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.